What's your favorite characteristic of your characters? I really like that Nicholas is pretty, he's just like very noble. He has like the 18th century spirit of manhood, I guess. Um, but he is someone who, because of his origins, he's half black. He really understands what it means to be, um, to have to really rise above the station that people would put you in against your will. And with Etta, I just, it's the New Yorker in her that I love, I think. She's just very headstrong and she really stands up for herself, but is pretty quick to adapt to situations, which comes in handy for time travel, I have to say. So yeah, I just like together, I love them together too. I think they sort of like highlight the best parts of each other. Who do you think you're more like? Mm, I'm gonna say Etta, just because I spent six years in New York and I feel like I somewhat like got a sense of what it is to be a New Yorker and to kind of like not be wary of the world but you know like just have that kind of New York toughness that's like innate I definitely needed that I grew up in Arizona so I was like a weak child a desert child um yeah so I'm going with Ed on that one what about the 1776 Manhattan made it feel like the perfect setting for your book so I was in New York when I started writing this which I I feel like I knew a lot about 1776 down in Virginia, which is where I had gone to school. I went to school at William & Mary, which is in, it's at one end of Colonial Williamsburg, so that was the full colonial experience. Um, and I just felt like I didn't know as much about um, Colonial Manhattan, but it was a huge area of conflict during the Revolution, and there was a lot happening and a lot of really important people coming in and out. And I just thought it was really interesting because you don't really get as much 18th century history in Manhattan anymore, like there are pockets of it around. But I kind of wanted to challenge myself and learn more about it. And I learned, which this is like so crazy and bizarre to me, that most people were living down in what we would know as like the financial district, kind of like the Wall Street area, very, the very southern tip of Manhattan. And then like 60th, 70th, 80th, like the Upper East Side and the Upper West Side were considered the country. So they would have their homes down in the city, down on the tip of Manhattan, and then they would retire to the country. Wow. Yeah, it's just like weird to think about that those were all big estates and now we are so packed in and piled on top of each other. <laughs> I love like imagining what it was like back in the day. And there are a bunch of like historical markers all around New York that like constantly catch you by surprise if you're not looking for them, which I think is really interesting too. Why did you give the passions you did to the characters with the violin and the sailing? Oh, that's such a good question. I played the clarinet in middle school and that was it for me. I am not much of a musician, but I understand the impulse to want to create. For me, it's writing for Edda, it's creating music, and so that was really challenging actually to like learn about the violin, the different parts of it, how it's played, like the stylistic tones of playing the violin and all of that um, but that's a world I've always been really interested in because I got the impression from the outside that when you're competing and you're on the competition circuit it's not cutthroat but it's very intense and just sort of wondering about the kind of person that would really go after that and try to make that their career and I know firsthand poor Etta that like it's sometimes very hard and it's a challenging but it's very worthwhile to make your passion into your career with Nicholas I think he is someone who is constantly seeking freedom and he knew, or I knew at least, and then gave him this knowledge as his creator, that there's a little bit more freedom afforded to people, mixed race people, African Americans out on the sea because it's really like the hierarchy of a ship is sort of based on what you can do and what you can accomplish more so than who you are and what your background is. Hey Justine, it's Alex. Look for my book Passenger. I'm so excited for you to read it. Go to justinemagazine.com for more.